Imagine that there is a train barreling down the railway tracks at a crazy speed. Ahead on the tracks, there are five people working, unaware of a train that is headed straight for them. You are standing far from the workers, but next to a lever that will allow the train to switch to a different set of tracks. However, you notice that there is one person working on the side track. What will you do? Will you do nothing and allow the train to kill the five people in the main track? Or will you pull the lever diverting the trolley onto the side track to save the five people but will kill one? What is the right thing to do? This moral dilemma is an ethics and psychology thought experiment in 1976 by Judith Jarvis Slumson. It seeks to understand how people would react when given the choice to make a decision on behalf of others. Is switching the tracks considered as deliberately killing one person? Or will one be held responsible for the death of the five workers if he decides not to do anything? Your answer in this moral dilemma is heavily influenced by your moral principles. What you think of or believe as an acceptable answer is shaped not only by your understanding of right and wrong, but also governed by your societal norms. Questions and concerns like the trolley problem fall under ethics or moral philosophy. It is a branch of philosophy that is concerned with how people should behave in a matter that is considered morally correct or good. Therefore, in ethics, we ask the questions, what is good? What makes me moral? Is something good because others do it? How will my decisions affect others? But before we dive deeper into the approaches and areas of moral philosophy, it is important that we distinguish morality and morals from ethics. Morality refers to the standards that a person or a group has about what is right and wrong or good and evil, while morals are specific beliefs, behaviors, and ways of being derived from doing ethics. Ethics is a broader discipline as it is a systematic approach to understanding, analyzing, and distinguishing matters of right and wrong, good and bad, admirable, and deplorable. Metaethics Normative ethics and descriptive ethics are the three main areas of ethics or ethical inquiry. In these three broad areas, we explore ideas involving a general pattern or way of life, a set of rules of conduct or moral code, and an inquiry about ways of life and rules of conduct. Metaethics is concerned with understanding the language of morality through an analysis of the meaning of ethically related concepts and theories such as the meaning of good, happiness, and virtuous character. Normative ethics, on the other hand, focuses on the ethical standards on which moral conduct is based, is an attempt to decide or prescribe values, behavior, and ways of being that are right or wrong, good or bad, admirable or deplorable. When using the method of normative ethics, inquiries are made about how humans should behave, what ought to be done in certain situations, what type of character one should have, or how one should be. It is in normative ethics that we also understand common morality. Common morality consists of normative beliefs and behaviors that the members of society generally agree about and that are familiar to most human beings. Because it forms what can be thought of as a universal morality, the common morality provides society with a framework of ethical stability. There is a universal understanding on the goodness or the wrongness of certain acts. We can differentiate common morality from particular morality, which is heavily content-laden and specific. Descriptive ethics, on the other hand, refers to a scientific rather than a philosophical ethical inquiry. It is an approach used when researchers or ethicists want to describe what people think about morality or when they want to describe how people actually behave, that is, their morals. But let's go to a more practical and relevant question. Why do we need ethics or why do we need to act ethically? There are several reasons provided by various philosophers on why we should act morally, and it being a requirement for society and life is the perfect synopsis to capture the very significance of acting in a virtuous manner. 
If knowledge defines the what of the universe, then philosophy is an attempt to unlock the why. Ethics is then how that why is carried out, giving us standards, virtues, and rules by which we use to direct how we behave, both on a daily basis and in the grand scheme of things. Ethics helps us determine the best way to act so that each of us may live a long, productive, and virtuous life. It is through these standards that each one of us can live without fear of one's peace being threatened by another.